What is up and what is good YouTube, your boy Jose Soldier back again with another video, another episode of Art Extravaganza. And in this episode, we're gonna be doing another prop. We're gonna be doing another cosplay item. A lot of you obviously are familiar with the game Zelda. So in today's episode, we're gonna be doing the Master Sword. In the last episode of Art Extravaganza, we did Rengoku Sword. This episode, we're doing another sword. Yes, I know another sword another but one the first couple shots i got of the video audio got corrupted so we're just gonna do a voiceover for at least 20 percent of the video and then the rest of the video you're gonna hear me talking some more and more but yeah let's just hop straight into the video all right just so this doesn't be boring we're gonna play some music so i found this file on thingiverse and i was like damn i gotta print this shit so let's print it we threw it a bit to the slicer it's gonna take me a couple days to print just this part right here alone is gonna take me one day and 38 minutes that's not even accounting for the rest of the blades that took like another day and a half almost this is only 74 percent of the way done and it's still only halfway like how big is this damn sword gonna be well this is how big the damn sword is gonna be Next couple steps involve me gluing all the pieces of the blade together and the sword, clamped it down, and I put some tape on the number and I'm sorry, remember what goes where. Here's a size comparison to compared to the Rengoku sword. That's my girlfriend just trying to annoy me. I try to close the door on her. But the next step is to use some wood filler and a soldering iron to piece the sword together. And then we use the wood filler to fill in some of the gaps. I'm gonna just let the music play and let you guys enjoy this time lapse. Now that the sword is fully pieced together and the holes are filled with wood filler the next step is to sand down the entire sword to get rid of clumps to get it ready for this the filler primer spray we're gonna head outside and do this because i don't want to breathe none of this in now we're just spraying the sword trying to fill in the gaps you can still see some of the layer lines but you know i'm just gonna go with it Next step is to spray paint the blade and the handle, the colors that they're supposed to be. And then after that, I'll go in with detailing on certain spots of the source. We're gonna be using silver and blue. Now that we have our two colors picked out, the next step is to go outside and spray paint this bitch. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Now that the sword is dried, we're gonna do some taping. We're gonna tape this area over here and get ready to spray the handle of the sword. So let's get to it. Some big ass sword. The fuck? Now that the sword is taped, to spray the blue. Okay, let's go. On top of it, let's go. Done. Let's take your tape off. Oh my god. That is so badass. Alright, we're having technical difficulties. I'll be right back. Okay, so that was an absolutely bad idea having tissue paper on this. But I guess when I spray painted it, it just got st stuck to the sword. But here it is. Next part is use of detailing the sword will be bonito and let's go do that i know you guys are tired of seeing this scenery this background of my living room so we're just gonna head next couple of shots are gonna be in my room so you get to see my manga my shoes my pop toys and stuff like that
officially done with the sword. The Zelda Master Sword, I don't know if I'm getting it in, in the whole frame, but yeah, I'm pretty excited with the way this came out. The blade looks, it's a little messed up, but it looks like it's been through battle, so I'll keep it like that. Any other 3D props that you guys would like to see, just, you know, comment down below what you guys would like to see and i'll make it all right this will conclude this episode of art extravaganza can't wait to see what i got cooking up next episode for you guys but until then this